Hello everybody and welcome back to the modlock. We are jumping in again for another run and this time we're going to make our way back to Andromeda. And I, yeah, I think we're just going to hop into a normal hard mode run and see what we can do today. I don't know if what I'm exactly going to go for. I might go for some hard mode completion max. You may see, um, hard mode, I meant dark path completion max. You may see that I don't have any completion max on here, but obviously you guys saw the video of me doing them. That is because I installed the mod afterwards. My bad. Anyways, let's just go quickly and grab a question of the day, as we do from the Discord, and see what people are saying, because I would love to hear. Um, let's have a little look-see. <laughs> what do blue drinks taste like to you? That's kind of a funny one. <laughs> that's, that's a funny one. Um, but that, that, is a, that is a good sort of... Ooh, that's a really good item. That's, a, that's just kind of an interesting one in general. Like... Ooh, we got a planetarium off the bat here. I hope, I hope that we managed to um, grab ourselves a key this floor to make that work. But of course, we are playing as Andromeda here. This guy, bit of a cheeky beaky. Um, we have already done, I believe, Bosch Rush. We did Bosch Rush. What did we do? I can't even remember. Let me go check my marks because I should, I should really find this out. In fact, I think I can, I think I can do this. One second. Um. Andromeda, Andromeda marks. Okay, we can already check this. We've done Boss Rush, we've done Delirium, we've done Blue Baby, Isaac, and Hush. So we basically need to go to, like, uh, probably the Beast is a good one to do today, to be honest. Or, um, or Mother, maybe? Or we could just go Dark Path. Um, Dark Path would be a good one to do, to be honest. But yeah, let's hope we can get um, an item. But yeah, that's just a good question in general, that. Not not specifically about blue drinks, but how, like, general perception of food changes between, like, what something looks like. It's always interesting to hear what other people sort of say <coughs> about certain food. Okay, rock gut. You didn't have to do that, did you? Um, About different foods where it kind of changes their perception of how they taste and and what they experience from them or what they expect from them based on how they look. It's 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 very I mean, just the whole idea. Please give me a key game. Oh really? This game's being rude to me right now. Uh, I'm not gonna get a key, am I? I'm gonna be really depressed if I don't get a key. Because I'm pretty sure I won't get to, um, a planetarium for a while if I don't get a key. I've also been hit multiple times too. This is not great. This is not a great start. Not a great start at all. Right, can you, like, get in the aura of this boy and just kind of stand there? I don't know, can you get stuck in there? I think only projectiles can get stuck in there, sadly. But, yeah, it's always interesting how much of an effect, like, visual appeal has on food. So, yeah, that, that that's actually, like, another part to this sort of question of the day. What's, for you, does, does food looking good matter to you? Like, how much of an effect does it have on you? Because, for me, I don't know, I feel like it doesn't matter too much to me. But I will say, like, I'm not a person that likes to, like, play everything up that I eat really nice and fancy and everything. But at the same time, like, if it's something I've never tried before and it doesn't look appetizing, it's going to be hard to convince me to try it. Whereas if, if it looks unappetizing but someone tells me it's great, then I'm more than willing to give it a go. But it looks like we're not going to get a key here. Uh, we did get some extra health, which is really nice. Um, I'm trying to think of a good way to get around this. Um... Secret room is, of course, the clear option. I'm not exactly sure where secret room is. I'm going to guess that it's here. Thank you. And we didn't exactly get a key, but we did get this. So, yeah, I'm not exactly sure when our next planetarium will end up being now. And honestly, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I'm not exactly when our next, sure when our next planetarium will end up being now. Because having missed one, that's pretty bad. Pretty bad indeed. I didn't know this guy started with 25% chance in the first floor. That's pretty nutty. Also missing out on a dime there. Big sad. Big sad. But we move on. We're just going to go down. And I think I will just go Dark Path. I kind of want to get the classics, the easy runs, out of the way first. And we'll move on to the harder ones later. Uh, and I'm by no means are the easy as in, like, I'm going to complete them easily. But they're easy in the way of they're the most simple bosses to go forward and go ahead with. <clears throat> One thing that I apologise for, if you guys can hear it, I'm hoping you can't, but um, I've been having a little bit, a little bit of an issue recently with my voice, um, and I don't really know what's causing it. Like, well, no, I kind of do. It's it's stupid to say I don't. Okay, this is bad. Oh, um, I'm kind of losing my voice a little bit when I'm doing recordings, and obviously I know that the reason is because I'm doing, 
I'm recording stuff. I'm doing videos, so yeah, I, I'm, I might lose my voice from that time. I won't grab them yet, but I might come back from later. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say if I'm doing videos, I might lose my voice from time to time. But, like, I've never experienced it before, and my voice has been absolutely fine all day today. And the moment I start doing a video, it's like, hey, hey, remember your voice is, like, going? So, it's, it's, it's a bit weird. I don't know what it is, what's, what's going on with that, so. <laughs> I apologise if you guys can hear that at all. I'll try and keep the commentary flowing and light and playful and fun. But today, yes, just a simple Andromeda run. I've been watching other people in the Nuzlocke going forward, and... Um, some people, uh, such as Neonomi and PD1P, have significantly more time to go at this sort of thing with. So, so like, I'm pretty sure BD1P has already fully completed Andromeda. Um, that's normal Andromeda, not tainted. Um, as well as also, yeah, I'm getting really annoyed with the lack of keys right now. Um, also, uh, he's done quite a few Bertrand marks already. And I believe Neonomi is like 75% of the way done with everything. Like, everything, everything. Um, ooh, Molten Dime. Molten Dime is insane. Okay, this Molten Dime isn't a guaranteed win by any stretch of the imagination, but it, it has it has huge potential. Especially if we can manage to get car battery along with it. That really that really pumps it up a little bit. I'm hoping that uh, Rock Gut here helps, yeah, deal with the uh, the balls of fury that he likes throwing out from time to time. Basically as soon as they get into his sphere gonna get rid of them for us very very nice it doesn't affect the uh, troll bombs unfortunately but i didn't really expect it to but yes i'm having a pretty good day today because i just went out to a place near me that does like the best burgers ever and they got like a new chicken burger on the menu me and my girlfriend went while it was nice and warm outside sat on the grass and had a burger and it was just fantastic it was fabulous um Yes, and I don't think i want to go devil deal with the amount of hp i could molten and dime them is the thing but I don't think it's super worthwhile. I'm just going to try and play, play it safe. Because the thing is, if you fail Molten... Basically, Molten Dime is like Crooked Penny if it was D1. So, like, it, it re-rolls the... It, it duplicates the item, but not into itself. It duplicates it into something of a similar type. Um, oh, these guys do not get caught up in this in this guy's uh, business, which is unfortunate. Um, yeah, so you can duplicate things into, basically, uh, another type of that consumable. But also, if you fail it, you take half a heart of damage. So you need to be confident or have a good amount of HP to mess around with to make it work, really. It's a little bit of a difficult one. Not as good in Soul Heart players, as you can prob probably imagine. God damn, these enemies are the worst. Gravity shift a little bit here and try and get something going on. It at least separated them. It didn't kill either of them. It just annoys me how when they're in their glob form, they can still move. Like, you don't have legs, mate. You don't have legs anymore. Why can you still move? Like, that room's actually a really, really good um, room to use Molten Dime on. Because we could duplicate all of those coins and get, like, a bunch of extra money. But, at the same time, if we fail it, it wouldn't put us on great HP. So, I don't really want to be taking too many risks with Molten Dime. Not as much as I normally would, at least. But it is a very, very good item for us to grab straight off the bat here. And hope for the best with. Very much hope for the best. I'm really hoping early on that, that health is something that, that comes to us in, in droves. Okay, so you, are you guys stuck? No, you're not. I'm, I was hoping they'd get stuck in his aura again, but still a little too fast. Okay. We do have, um, I just want to say we do have good shot speed, but this guy doesn't even use shot speed, so I don't know what I was about to say, but we're doing okay with him so far. Things ain't going so bad. But yeah, that, that, the meal that I just had was a perfect example of, god damn, can this game stop? It was a perfect example of, like, food looking really good and making me want to try it, because I saw it on a video, um, that it was the place near me that was doing this amazing food, and I was like, dude, we have to, we have to go. Oh, for god's sake. Do you know what? I'm absolutely flabbergasted that I didn't get hit there. <laughs> absolutely flabbergasted. These enemies are really annoying because they get pushed around a lot, but as you can clearly see, not too bad when Rock Gut's there sucking everything up, doing his good old thing. Any enemy that can dash is going to be problematic, as you can see. There's a key. Beautiful. Ooh, the pale is really good, but we're going to have to gravity shift because I'd rather keep Molten Dime. Grab that. Don't have a bomb for that. 
We do have a tower card, which I guess I'll pop and then... Yeah, we'll just bail. It didn't, it didn't pop any of them over the gap, so it doesn't matter for us. Right, so yeah, so far, I would say kind of unfortunate on our items and stuff. We've got some okay stuff going on. Rotgut is by far the best thing we've got going on. Molten Dime has the potential, the potential to be really good. But right now, I wouldn't, I wouldn't class it as a run-winning item because we don't have the health to support using it. Once we have the health to support using it, and the, obviously the reason to use it too, then it becomes a little more important. As this, it, it's probably pretty low tier as this character in general, to be honest. Yeah, this isn't a great character to have it with. Um, let's go back row, but we don't need to do boss rush, so we don't need to be all hush. We don't need to be rushing around, so let's go back to our shop and see if we can get some HP. Pills at the minute, I'm sorry, but that's not going to be something I wanted to pick up. <clears throat> That's a little too risky for my blood. Oh, that was bad. The, I take way too much damage as this guy. I just don't know, like, when you have to fire weird, I don't know how to move right. I don't know what it is. But when it when the game requires you to, to, to fire in a peculiar way, I just can't, like, move correctly. So we did get a planetarium over here, so I'm very glad we did some exploring. Of course, we do have a key as well. Oh, for, got hit again. We did get a soul heart here, thank god. We'll pop in here. We got Mars again, which honestly, I'm not too displeased with. I, I actually made it work pretty well last time, but I'm gonna gamble, and there you go. We gambled, and we got Neptunus. And do I want Mars as well? Hmm. Right, let me, let me go do the boss. I, I'm not going to grab Mars for right now because I don't really want it. I'm hoping I can get another charge. But Neptunus is good for now. Mars isn't really something I want, but Spurred is pretty good. But anyways, let's go do our boss and we'll come back and see. We might get something that gives us bombs or health to be a bit more confident. Or we might somehow get a charge. Like if we, I'd like to get that real quick. So let's let, let Neptunus fill us up. You're not too bad of a boss for us, I don't think. I just don't want you in a position where you can do a really wicked brimstone attack. By wicked, I don't mean isn't like cool. Neptunus isn't amazing for us either. It's going to be good from room to room, but otherwise. Okay, trinket. Let's see. Ringworm? Do you know what? I actually think Ringworm has some merit. Just tears going all over the screen. And I am... I'm gonna regret it, but I'm gonna grab Mars. Because it lets us get into cash rooms for free. And I feel like that's pretty, pretty good value. But otherwise, I'm not super stoked. I'm annoyed we didn't get, like, a bomb or anything to get any of these pennies. Our consumable game, this floor, has been pretty bad. I'll take this pill as a... Oh, I gulped that. Okay, well... If that trinket ends up being bad for us, tough titties, I guess. Right, I will take this other pill as well, just as a gamble to try and get something a little better. Okay, that was pretty much exactly what I wanted to happen. But, problematically, I've already taken Mars. <laughs> Um, so that didn't really work out. Basically, what I was going to do here is go over there and grab all those coins. But now that doesn't really matter. But tell you what, tell you what, let's do it anyways. Okay. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have grabbed Mars now, should I? <laughs> we'll grab this. We got a judgment, which is... Do you know... This game, spawns a restock machine. This game's kind of screwing me. <laughs> like, goddamn, I could have used that to get, like, a bunch of good planetarium items. Ugh. Oh, it doesn't matter. Whatever. Ma like I said, Mars, the only problem with Mars is the input controls are terrible. Like, you'll often accidentally use it. But otherwise, it's pretty decent. Otherwise, it's, it's, it's really not too bad. 
Can I, like... That'd be pretty interesting if I could kind of, like... But... And bop through there, but unfortunately not. We can also grab this now as well. Uh, which we should have grabbed before grabbing the money, but... Here we are. Anyways. Getting to gulp that was pretty good. And get in and out of here. We got an angel deal teleport, and it's Genesis. Oh. That's, it's not. Well, I'm just gonna have to leave that and hope I can come back with a bomb. Honestly, game right now is kind of fucking me over, and I kind of hate it. Because Genesis is great, but Molten Dime's better, and we won't get Molten Dime back. Um, and then I was like, ooh, cool, we have a judgment, don't worry about it. But we have one penny and no bombs, so even if we spawned one, we can't do anything with it. So we have to just wait and hope we get that Angel Deal again, and have the money and such to actually make it work. God damn consumables, could you not screw me so hard? Please. Also, don't just like walk into shops. That was like really bad. I'm also like maybe regretting having this thing um, gulped, but then again, I didn't know it was going to get gulped, did I? I should go live with it, I guess. It gave us a tears up at least, so that was nice. Oh god. This is this is like it's weird. This this run feels like it's kind of going well. We have some good items on board and like some good stuff going on. But it in a much more real sense feels like it's going terribly. Cause Molten Dime's not super useful yet, and we didn't really get to do anything in that room. I, like I didn't even have a charge of Molten Dime to use on that Angel deal if I wanted to, so just all sorts of stuff is in a in a weird state right now. Hey, we got a key. That's crazy for us. Who'd have thought it? Really, we got this room again twice. Oh no! Did you see Rockgut pull that tear into me? It was going to miss, and Rockgut curved it into me. That's quite rude, Rogger. Oh, come on now, dude. Don't be like this. And we get a bomb here as well. Wow, consumables? Crazy that we're actually getting some now. My goodness. Something like this feels like a death wish, but I'll be careful. Oh, God. My health really is very concerning right now. Secret room for free there is really nice. Keys, really nice. I'll quickly check out the shop in case. There's a soul heart there, but do we want a soul heart? Because I might want to restock Genesis if I can. I don't know, we'll come back for it, I guess. The bomb. Don't want to use a bomb there, I don't think. I'll come back for my item. I'll do the boss first. I probably shouldn't have done the boss first, actually. I, I should have got more money before doing this. So I could make more out of restock. I might gamble and, um, and use, what's it called? Molten Dime on Genesis if we get into the Angel Deal, you know? <coughs> I think that might be beneficial. Oh, for God's sake, I'm playing so awfully today. If I die as Andromeda here, I'm, I'm not going to be disappointed because I've done, I, I survived a run. Did you just spawn that red poop directly on top of me? Did you just do that? Did you just spawn that directly on top of me? Really not feeling this boss fight right now. We didn't even get it, so don't even have to worry about it. Oh my god, I'm stressing. I'm stressing. This is something. This is really something. We got another planetarium. So we've had three this run. That's kind of nuts. Considering we didn't get into one of them. Uh, yeah, it's pretty nuts. I know that we can get more than one, but I wasn't expecting this many. Okay, Pluto, 
I think Pluto is just a take. I would I would love to Molten Dime it, but Pluto is a huge fire rate up, as you can see. But also, being tiny is insanely strong. Like, insanely strong. You can dodge so many things. Can you calm down, sir? Holy shit. But yeah, I like having that huge tears up. That's really nice. Oh my god. For some reason, I didn't think this room had combat in it. Don't know why I thought that. Okay, this is a perfect gravity shift sort of room. <laughs> Unfortunately, it might well be a perfect gravity rift shift sort of room, but it didn't help us. But that, that is helpful. Okay. My goodness. I'm loving our tears right now, I have to say. Health is looking a little bit better. And we can now afford a soul heart from the shop too. Although, I might just molten dime the shop and hope for the best. I might. I don't know if it's a good idea. I did it. And I got this. I got this. And I got a red heart, sadly. <laughs> I kind of forgot that would happen. Ooh, we also got a pear throw here, which is kind of interesting. Okay. So. I think this is really good for us. I'll take that. And I still think we want our restock machine for other rooms. The Perthra is good, but like, <clears throat> not amazing. So I think I'm gonna buy a battery and yeah, use that again, just see what happens. And we didn't, we didn't end up paying out, but there you go. Okay, member's access card could be really good. <clears throat> the trinket we just got is very good. <laughs> One second, and let's keep it going. Let's move on. I really do apologize for my voice. I don't know if you can hear it at all, but it's straining my throat. But I'm not taking a break. It's not. It's Modlock. I can't. And then it's then it's uh, Fiend Folio soon as well. I hate this room with a burning passion, so deep, so bright. I love how like long our tears stay in the air. It's it's insane. <laughs> okay, got taken care of as well. It's a brimstony boy. Am I even able to hit this guy? Not particularly well, no. It's good enough. It's good enough. This is such a wacky run that I've built here. Mo I feel like Molten Dime will end up being the hero of this run. He will be our hero baby. But we just don't know when. Dude, Mars almost screwed me then. I hate Mars. Why with the double tap on movement bullshit? There's so many types of movement in this game that require you to make fine movements that are identical to the way of triggering Mars. It's horrible. And there's like no real way of avoiding it. It just happens. I hate it. <laughs> as I'm sure many of you do as well. I'm using it to move faster through these rooms here, but that's that's me doing that on purpose. Again, am I actually able to hit this enemy? There you go. Okay, just about. Basically, I want to always be standing somewhere near Rockgut, just for the safety, because he can eat tears that come near him. But he does also skew if things. He, like, knocks them off into a different direction and stuff. Whoa. Okay, Y'all have Herming, that scares me. I like the fact that Rockgut does damage as well if something's like in his aura. Got Wheel of Fortune. I... I'm not sure if that's worth it. I'm gonna... Yeah. Regret it. I regret that. That's a That was a really good item. I can still gravity shift for some reason. That's uh, 
kind of good to know. That helps. That certainly helps. Thank you for the half soul heart back as well. Okay. Yeah, I, I think he's pretty good. I probably should have just taken it. But I wanted to gamble with the restock machine. I think Molten Dime, with this room, we're going to have to do some gambling. Probably want Humbling Bundle, right? Right. Let's quickly come back this way. Check out you. Just wanted to get a charge here. God damn, that troll bomb's going wild. <laughs> right. Quickly check this out. I'll bomb you and see what we get. We did get a nickel, nice. So, Bumbling Bundle is on the table right now. <laughs> Interesting. So, I think we... Right now, we buy Humbling Bundle. Humbling Bundle's really good. And then we come back over this way. Actually, let's bomb you as well. That is a Soul Heart for us here. Which is, I think, what I was trying to buy anyways. Yeah, so we'll buy the Soul Heart. Then we come down here. And we pop this. What, what, what the hell does this do? No, that's just, that's just wacky. Um, unfortunately, the item it gave us wasn't very worthwhile. Let me bomb this guy again. Damn. Okay. I might try and Molten Dime that again. I might try and Molten Dime that again. We'll see, we'll see if we get a charge for it. Actually, we definitely will by the end of this floor, because this is a Necro 1. We can do this double room, and even if there's no rooms after it, which there is anyways... We could have done the boss room. Oh, Mars, you bitch. Why? I would never want to do that. I would have ever want to do that. Wait, what? Oh, uh, we don't have... Fl oh. Oh, okay. Because we're tiny. We can now... We can use Mars to get over gaps now. I always forget that that's a thing. Having enough speed while you're tiny lets you get over gaps. So we can do... I didn't... It didn't manage to do it there. But let's try it again. There you go. Like that look. So if, if there is stuff behind gaps, we can get to it. But we can also soft lock ourselves like that, I think. So we've got to be careful. Okay. So. I'm just going to do this room because I don't really care what's here. Did I... I walked into the curse room door. I walked into the curse room door. I didn't actually enter the curse room. I walked into the door. I am an idiot. I will do this. Okay. Um, damn it. I tested it. I tried it. I wanted to double my money. I want it to double my money. It's going to be a painful process, this, isn't it? Right. Goddamn Mars. Stop it. Oh, goddamn. Just take it slow. Take it easy. I'm back over to the shop. Be prepared to lose more health again. God damn it, we really need some payouts. We really need some payouts for this run to go anywhere. Because it's like, it's, it's, it's got something, but it still needs a little more, I think. Also, Blurt with this setup seems awful. That, that hit me. Yummy. Come back over here, Blurt. I hate it when he gets near the top of the screen and you just chills out there. Okay. 
having a really hard time here. Blur, why are you the worst? Okay. We did get an angel deal here. We also got some luck upgrade, which is decent. Seraphim. It's good enough. We should also do this. Dude, he's so close to me. Get away. He's so fast. I feel like being tiny, I should have way more speed than this. And I just don't. And it's really strange. I also feel like I just cannot aim. <laughs> it's, it's just a crapshoot whether I hit anything or not. Okay. Bomb this, because why not? Probably should have gone for the fire as well, but we got an eternal heart. That's good. Oh my god. Th this is this is feeling risky. This is feeling spicy. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Oh god, you got stuck in that very quickly. More keys. Another planetarium, perchance? <laughs> I, I get that asking for a fourth one on our run would be maybe a little much. But I, bear in mind, I didn't get to enter my first one, so... You, you owe me that one at least, game. Okay. Grab our money. I just need more health to play with Molten Dime more. That's all I care about. I'm, I'm surviving pretty much just fine. I just want to have more health so I can play around with Molten Dime more. Right, so. Come in here. I'm going to start re-rolling this. Are you kidding? Are you actually fucking... Do not... I got it too close and I got guillotined. Why the hell not? That, that was a prime example of me being terribly, terribly stupid. But... Actually, guillotine is not bad at all with this setup. Hate this. I hate this. Okay, at least we still get a shop here. Yeah, guillotine gave us a good amount of damage, actually. Very hard to see where my body is, but... Let's not get too annoyed at that. More money. See what we've got going on down here. Okay, so Prism's very good. We'll definitely take that at a discount price. Then we'll roll. And see if we can get something we want. Holy Mantle's really good. I very highly doubt we'll be able to afford that by the end of the floor. But I feel like we have to try. Yeah, Prism's great because things are just going to constantly pass through Prism. Prism's like an item that we've got that's actually pretty pretty top tier for us. So we need, I think it was 49 cents, wasn't it? Something along that lines. Yeah, Prism's actually going to be insane. I love it. Multiplying the tiers we fire. Doing all that good shebang. But yeah, Holy Mantle will stop me from taking accidental mass damage so much. Which would be really nice. But I very highly doubt. I very highly doubt we're going to get to that amount. I'd also like to just get some more random HP drops. Damn it. Oh, we do have, we do have a gulp here. Which I'll definitely take. Gulp. <clears throat> okay. Come on, where's the money at? There could be so much money involved and there just isn't. It's so sad. But just getting Prism for me is top, top tier. And I'm, I'm going to, of course, try and use Molten Dime again. Regardless of the fact that it'll hurt me if I don't get the proc. Black Rune doesn't do much for us here. At least we can get through curse rooms. That's really nice. But yeah, I think I think we're all out. We're all tapped on money here. I very highly doubt it's going to be anywhere we can get 
enough money to make this work. Like, we're not even getting money from chests. Come on now. Last room. I was hoping for just an insane, like, couple of dimes for some reason. We got hit there as well, which makes Molten Dime play even riskier. I'm still going to do it. I'm still going to do it. But it does make it riskier. Right. Let's have a little look-see then. Thank you, Molten Dime. The fifty percent chance you could cut me, cut me some slack. It would be quite nice if you could cut me some slack. I will say though, our damage has uh, skyrocketed, which is real good. We've got an angel deal here. Um, we're taking the negative this time round. I'm waiting for my tears to spare so I can bomb this. It's taking a bloody long time. Because I know that them tears are going to push bombs around. Do you know what? Gravity shift over here. Stop. Stop being, stop being you. Really? 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 That was terrible. That was awful. That is also pretty awful too. It's like nice to get more damage and stuff here, but like... Come on, game. Oh god, the, da the damage there was obscene. Okay, away we go. I don't know what to say. The we've, we've, we've passed our prime time real estate of getting stuff done. We have a chance, not a high one. Um, I'm just going to leave that leech to get sucked on over there. I don't want to move. <laughs> there you go. I could have molten... Oh, I didn't even have a charge. Actually. I was going to say, I could have molten dimed all those hearts, but... That would have been very risky. I didn't even have a charge, so. We still have our um, restock machine to drop down. I'm not really certain on where I'm going to do that yet. Thank you for the mega troll bomb. Thank you for the trinket we don't need. Honestly, though, our damage, our damage now has reached a really good level. The screen is just covered in crap. I kind of like that. And also, also Pluto does make it so it's pretty hard for us to take projectile damage if we're close to an enemy, which is really nice. Oh, another troll bomb. Thank you. It's what I've always wanted. And basically, the longer we're in a room, the more we stack up crap so that everything gets hit. I am a bit curious as to why sometimes all of it stays really close to my person, then other times it's like disappears halfway across the screen. Because it'd be really nice to be able to control that somewhat. I think it's just the longer I'm firing. Soul of Isaac is good, but not really that useful for us. Yeah, wait for that. And away we go. We found the boss straight away. Nice. Let's get a charge up going. There we go. Annoying boss, but not a particularly hard one. Depends how often he decides to pop his little tail up. To be honest, though, we're doing a lot of damage even when he doesn't, so... I do not mind. Safety pin... Hmm, nah, I, I should take it. I should take it. I was like, the range doesn't really matter and the black heart's good, but like, I could Molten Dime. But I think Molten Dime maybe does a full heart of damage now. I'm not 100% sure. Either way, it's pretty risky. <laughs> you got stuck. Yeah, still some big risks here, but we're, we're, we're taking them. We're going forward. I think we're doing all right. Ooh, that is a very good trinket for us. Very, very good. It only gives us one free hit of floor, really, with the one burn heart of floor. We've got it pretty late into the run, but that is still pretty fantastic. Basically getting one hit every... and uh, One extra hit every floor is, is pretty awesome. 
But yeah, I think, I think honestly, I've been saving it for a secret room or some other sort of room to use our reroll machine. I think just if we get another angel deal and it, and it isn't something incredible, we ought to just use it and try and get something incredible. I think that's really the next logical play that we have because... I doubt we're going to get a really good secret room item. And I doubt we even need one, to be honest. I've run has, be, her, I've run has reached a point where I'm, I'm reasonably happy with it now. Molten Dime hasn't done too much. But it's it's been here to help out if needed sort of thing. You survived that? Well done to you, I guess. I don't know if this... Uh... Oh, that was, a, that was an unlucky hit there. I was about to say, I wasn't sure if this would be the right way, but I better check it. And it were. And it were. Right. Get ready. Are we ready to rumble? By the way, I realise there could be planetariums on these floors, but I honestly think the risk in cl full clearing the womb floors, especially right now, kind of outweighs anything I could get. By the way, I believe this is one of the bosses that basically just can't hit me, which is quite nice. We got a devil deal, which is... Big sad. I was really hoping on a 9% chance we wouldn't get that, but there you go. Um, I'll do that and see if we get anything. We technically did. Okay, so this is actually not too bad, because now I can take care of them. Uh, let's quickly gravity shift here. Whoa, what in the hell? Gravity shift does things in this room? I did not realize that, but that's not that's 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 fine. That's all well and good. Yeah, let's let's keep going on this. We really need something like Stella. So empty vessel is, for example, one of those. Also, we have a lot less health than I thought we would. Um, empty vessel is really good. Pound of flesh isn't. What earth isn't? God damn game, you're an actual racist. That was, god damn it. <laughs> I mean, empty vessel's really good, but come on now. Did you have to do the fucking blue baby on me? Empty Vessel's pretty top tier. I can't understate that. It's pretty top tier. Do you know what would have been good there? Lump of Coal. <laughs> Lump of Coal would have been amazing right there. That would have broken this build wide open. And it's already pretty broken. Don't get close to me. I'm gonna say, still, I'm still having the problem of really having a hard time seeing my body. By the way, I think what happened there is I ate up the items for wisps at the cost of some health. Because I've got these black wisps around me that I never had before. And I, I, I believe I lost some health. So that was my bad. I didn't realize that gravity shifting was... I could have just waited. And it would have been a nice idea anyway, so I could, like, maybe buy one of those items if it was any good. If I rerolled into something really stellar. I didn't get that luxury, sadly. This has been a longy, though. This has definitely been a longy. But at the minute, at least, I'm hoping this isn't a dying run. It doesn't seem like a dying run right now. I still would rather have a little bit more health than I'm on right now. My health still isn't fantastic. But it's not terrible. This is definitely a room where I sit over here and wait. <laughs> I'm having some tinted rocks around, but getting unlucky with those so far. Okay, quickly pop it out then in. We've got quite a few bombs here, so I think it's worth just dropping a few down. Try and get a single soul heart out of this. <clears throat> Damn it. There's that one room you can find on this floor that, like, gives you a bunch of soul hearts. Okay. Three, two, one, and go. There you go. I masked him by accident as well. Not what I wanted to do. Oh, I got hit there, really? Okay. Not a great spot for that, but I'll accept it. Really not happy with my health now. Onto one bar of health going into the next floor is pretty scary. I mean, the damage is insane, so that's good. But it's still... It's, there's still an air of the fact that we could die.
Some good items there. Not that I can really afford them. I could try and Molten Dime. I did try and Molten Dime. I risked it for a biscuit. The game screwed me. This is also a really awful room here that I'd be surprised if I didn't get hit in. But, surprise, surprise. Oh my god. Okay, very annoying enemy. Mars, thank you. Could have got him killed in the first phase there, but Mars was like, nah, I'll zoom you away from that. Okay, I don't really know what to think of this guy. Spiders everywhere, but that's not a big problem. Lead pencil is insane. But this is a good setup. I'm going to be firing a lot of lead pencil shots. Like a lot. God damn it. Also, you have to remember I now have flight too, so I don't have to worry about that sort of stuff. The creep. This seems like the lamb. Oh, can I say? This seems like the way to the lamb. It was not. Damn it, this is also a really, really awful boss. Luckily, we got him. Right, away we go. Oh, god damn. This has been so stressful, and I'm still pretty stressed. My health still isn't great. If I take like two or three more hits, the lamb fight could go really wrong. I should really take the lighter, considering, um. Considering there's really no downside and no reason to keep my current trinket. It's like a very minor DPS increase, really, at the end of the day, but it is a DPS increase. Right, I think I can sit next to this guy without him hitting me, yeah. Can I have some more chests, please? I do have two luck. I mean, it's not, it's not I know it's not a lot, but it's enough to be getting chests, right? It's just so weird with Pluto to think, hey, I should be moving closer to the enemy to stay under their tears than running further away. It's a little bit of a hard thing to comprehend. Oh, soul heart there is fantastic. I do forget that we've got champion bosses that could give us some soul hearts here and there. Immediately it is gone. But then again, I suppose it's better that I, I gained and lost it than um, never gained it, because then I'd just be down health. I guess that's quite nice. I don't really know the tier height of this guy, I'll be honest. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try do anything funky with this dude. He's pretty much dead. I'm I'm not doing Mega Sin, obviously, on this run. We did live. A little bit scary, but there you go. That was kind of a crazy run. We got there in the end. I hope you guys did enjoy. Not many marks gotten, but at least we got something, and I'll see you guys in the next one.